Hello, singing friends. Welcome back to my channel. It's Mickey here, your friendly neighborhood singing coach. Today I'm going to be doing a reaction request to Ofra Haza singing the song Jerusalem live on the Don Shilon show on Yom Hatzma'ut in 1995. This is a request from my friend and viewer, Loris Hassani. I won't go into my whole spiel about Ofra. You've probably heard me talk about her before, but if you would like to learn more about her, I would refer you to my other videos on the subject as I do talk more about her background. I'm excited to hear this live version since I've already reacted to the album version of this song. So let's jump right in and check it out. But I'm gonna pause it there for a moment so I don't get flagged. So there are things that I really, really like about this performance and things that I like less. Well, the things that I like about it a lot are that it is such an ambitious orchestration. You've got this whole like gospel choir, you've got a complete orchestra and a conductor, and then you've got Ofra bringing in that really, really strong chorus immediately, that Jerusalem, Jerusalem. Her chest voice sounds really, really strong and powerful and lovely on that right away. I love the hookiness of it. The things that I didn't love so much about it were that it felt like it took a minute to kind of gel together rhythmically. It almost sounded like she was starting at a slightly faster tempo and the chorus wasn't quite keeping up with her. And then by the first verse, they gelled more. But that first chorus, it seemed like she was pushing the tempo a little bit and they weren't exactly in sync. The other thing about it is, it seems like there's a lot of competing elements in the construction of the song. So you have that kind of like offbeat reggae upstroke, that dun, 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 right? And then you've got this like gospel choir, and then you've got her beautiful melismas. And it's just like a lot of different things competing that I don't necessarily think flow together and really gel for me. The other thing that I don't love about it are, you know, she's singing in English and she's telling the story from the Bible of Solomon and it's very wordy and it's very literal, you know, like it doesn't really flow, it's not that poetic and the way that the lyrics scan, there's no like rhyming and, and flow to it. It doesn't seem like it's like that beautiful sonically, just the way that the words are kind of jammed in there, you know? <laughs> it's a little bit too wordy and a little bit too literal for me. The other thing that I don't love is the phrasing of her ornament on the last part of the, the verse. There's like a riff where she sings half of the line and then there's a pause and then she sings the riff afterwards and it almost feels like it should be connected. So I'm just gonna back it up for a second so I can show you what I'm talking about. Um, that line, the, bring me a sword so I can divide the baby in two. Ooh, 
that feels like a weird pause to me there and I wonder why they did that you know like I would have loved for her to just like sustain that note and obviously I think she's very capable of having sustained that on one breath she's got a great breath control it would have been nicer to me sonically to be like bring me a sword so I can divide the see I can't even like sing the words in time because it's so many words divide the baby in two That would have flowed better for me than having this odd pause in the middle of that phrase. So those are the things that are kind of like rubbing me a little bit wrong, but I think her voice sounds great and I think it's a very ambitious orchestration. And that's one of the reasons why I think it didn't completely gel because it's just so many things to pull together, especially in a live context like this. See, that's interesting there, the way that the um, the lyrics scan and where the accent falls, right? The first time that they sing that Jerusalem, the accent is on the root, right? Jerusalem. And then the second time it falls on that lem, right? Jerusalem. So there's some really interesting, complicated stuff going on with the meter, the time signature, and the way that the lyrics are going against that. So I really like a lot of the stuff conceptually that's in here. It's just the way that it's executed. It's just like a lot of things going on. There's really clever things happening in the construction of the song. It's just a lot to kind of pull together. That was very pretty there, that bridge where she was kind of doing like call and response where she would sing a line and then they would kind of answer her. I think that's a better use of the chorus than where they're just kind of like repeating the chorus after her. I thought that was quite beautiful. And also it took the song um, to a different place in terms of the chord progression. It was a very interesting little rest for the ear and a little interlude there. Yeah, so there was some interesting stuff in the second half of the song. I liked the breakdown. And I liked the way that the chorus kind of came back in. And she had some more interesting uses of the chorus later in the song. I also really liked the way that she played with that melody on the end and did that riff over the chorus singing that that same refrain. And she brought in that Yerushalem, right? Like she pronounced it more like Yerushalayim, right? Rather than Jerusalem at the end. And I liked how she went up on that Yerushalayim over the melody of the chorus. That was very pretty. So things that I love about this, I love her ability to turn on the charm and how charismatic she is. She really is so captivating and mesmerizing. She's so beautiful and she's such a good performer, you know, the way that she just turns it on, you know, she's like a, a spotlight just emanates from inside of her. And I love hearing her powerful belt, which is not something that we always hear 
from her, you know, a lot of times she'll sing in this very light kind of high placement and her voice doesn't have that heft to it. Here you really hear the strength of her voice and you can really hear that nice chest voice belt. She's really giving us some nice power. I love the hookiness of that chorus. And conceptually, I think there's a lot of interesting stuff going on. The trouble that I had with this is that it's just too many competing things and it didn't feel like it gelled right away to me. And also just how wordy the the chorus is and how it doesn't really flow and have that nice scansion where things are like rhyming and they just sound very pretty, you know? I think she was having to work with fitting in a lot of words <laughs> and it was a little bit like clunky and unwieldy, you know, I would have liked more poetic lyrics. So that's my impression. You know, overall, I always think that she's lovely and I'm being especially hard on her. I think she sang it beautifully and she's an amazing performer. So I really don't have a critique in that sense. So that's my reaction. I hope that you enjoyed it. And let's just play it out to the end. Let's see if anything else happens. I think it's just applause, but let's see what happens. Very nice. So it's it's kind of cool to see that, you know, um, that that dais in the middle, that round platform with the prime ministers on it. And it's such a high pressure situation for her to be singing on a talk show like that live and have all those very preeminent politicians and, and larger than life figures there. And she has to kind of balance that elegance with the pop culture and appeal, which I think she always does very, very well. She's, she's very elegant and glamorous and she always puts on a, a really good show that she could perform in front of anybody. You know, I think that's a very impressive skill. So a lot of positive things to say about it, just a few little nitpicky negatives um, that I hope weren't too harsh. So thank you for watching and I'll see you guys here next time. If it's a Monday, I'll see you Wednesday. If it's a Wednesday, I'll see you Monday. Until then, take care. And of course, happy singing.